continue. Previously on Alan oh. Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found hmm. only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. That's creepy as shit. <laughs> How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I, I really found out like all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Wearing like a Hawaiian yeah. shirt, but Mr. winter Wake, coat, and then shorts. Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. Those shorts? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trail. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. There's all, and what is with all these boxes everywhere? Takes place around Cauldron Lake. So well, please do not recycle. Wrong, They're sir. everywhere. Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the god fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. It's a weird echo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. Hmm. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Let's just hurry this up so I don't want to hear him as much. That'd be a thing. Just looking for collectibles, you know how we do. What's with all the boxes? I got one, what's it say inside? Come on, mister, I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Why are you echoing? Rose's trailer. Just follow me. It's not far. Shut up. Why are you echoing though? That's so weird. Listen, I got things to do. This place don't run itself. Well, I, I would follow you except you don't move until I get ahead of you. So that's kind of a thing. Free the puppy. Oh, give me a break, mister. Can we just get a move on? Shut the fuck up. Get a move on then. Go. I'm waiting on your happy ass. I can run in there. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Cool. Where are you going, dude? Cool, I can go look over here. I just need to know where you're going. Oh, there's a thermos. Knew there was gonna be one. It's mm, a weird trailer, bro. Like half these homes, you can't get into. It's 
Let's see, was it rabbit food? Salad. Ah, ha, ha. Fuck is chopping wood. Alright, dude. Fuck, we'll follow your slow ass. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. Weird. All of the articles about this stuff were written it's by like they took the 3D auto and just said, let's just make it echo. That would be 3D. That crazy bag lady you met. I don't know if there's an echo on that. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Cool. Another cardboard fucking box. What is with all, what is with remedy and cardboard boxes? Weren't there a ton of cardboard boxes in control too? Or control. Nice shit here. So a lot of running around for no reason. I gotta stand here and wait for you, like. I walk faster than you, like, come on, hurry up, fuck. Welcome to, to, oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh, oh yes, yes. Please, come in. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is really good. It's just a cup of coffee. Everybody acts like... Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? She's got coffee all over her floor now. Pour it on his face. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. What? I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. Hmm. I insist. Okay. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Back to work, boy. Hmm. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. Mm. She promises me I can save Alice this way. Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. Rose Fulfill is free. 
Okay. Milk and sugar on the counter there. All right, well, let's go. Would you like to hear today's My special? gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get buried. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. The brighter she was still sweet when life had tried so hard. Okay. Into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here to talk to you. Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is what? Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're That's under arrest. Control? You move a muscle all alone right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Nicole. What the hell is that? They just go down like that. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when mm. the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it... Okay, gotcha. Sticking around. Fuck that noise. Let's stay here. Search the area. Search the area and shoot on sight.
This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna pull a helicopter out of this guy now, too. See the lights at the radio station in the distance. Sit down and give me that. Jane, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of load of scotch about it. You know what I mean? Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get a doctor and take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. Hmm. You better get the I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Coal mine? Natural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. There was no power to the searchlight. Well, I keep hitting the.
It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were nice. an ideal weapon for my situation. Oh, yeah, they are. I don't have a gun, so they're gonna have to be. I don't see anything, so... They left me the fuck alone. over here. Thermos. Look at that. We need a cup of coffee. Let me put this flashlight on that. Put that everywhere else. It'll be fine. Should steal that car too. I had no idea how to get to the coal mine. Maine would know. And I had a feeling I wouldn't get a chance to ask anyone else anytime soon. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Yeah, that's oh, weird. I'm so okay. glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Good Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Damn. 
Calm whoa, down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all Why does he have a gun? Right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Dude, what the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops. Ooh. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his head. Interesting. And find my own way to the mine. Oh, cool, we got flares now. as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Here. 
page or something? Why would the fuck it even exist? Trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. Okay. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just. Hell yeah, let's get some more shit in here. Motherfuckers ain't fucking with me. A phone call. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. Hmm. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. Okay. It's weird. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Oh yeah, hell, I get a cash. Right here. Fuck yeah. Bitches, go out the fucking Jesus. itself loose from the bridge's steel frame. Boom. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in mid Okay. Pew, pew. Wish there was a stand I could see here. a railway bridge up ahead, and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Follow. Gotcha. Interesting that there's a weird pipe. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path.
patch again all those pieces that once fell beneath the bridge that I can't kill. Right? Sort on the opposite shore. All right. I hoped I could find a car from there. Yeah, sure. yeah, I gotcha. I hoped I could find a car from there. I hoped I could just use this light in the way that it was supposed to. It just, I don't know if the mechanics I can understand fully. Because I point the light at it, do I just sit there with the light on it and eventually just strong beams it or... shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I... As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. <laughs> Gotta get my coffee fix. Oh, can I get on that? Oh, but there's this. Oh, can I get up there? No, that'd be too easy. Ah, I tried. Interesting, okay. Okie dokie.
I forgot there's still some here. Okay. Boom. Darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself toward it. Hmm. The harsh lesson.
If I can't get up there, huh? Oh, there's another box of goodies over there. Hell yeah. Oh, got like three trophies in a row. That was pretty cool. So the bad guys cover their face. Got my coffee. Coffee all day, every day. Coffee. I was looking at this car. Yeah, what's gonna let's look around. Let's take a gander first. Nope. Oh. Nope, just did a cutscene. Interesting. I had never been sucks. this glad to see the sunrise. Oh. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Hmm. wasn't far now. Go. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't uh. give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Supposed to, can we get in this? Oh, we can. First, let's go look around. See if we're missing a thermos, or... And then he goes, what happens if I go backwards? Well, it's daytime, right? So. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry nice, was probably clever. in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Even during daytime, I was being stalked. The bridge must have collapsed only moments after I'd crossed it. No coffee, no nothing out here? I guess, all right. It's a cool looking tree. this over? No. There's nothing here. Am I supposed to take the Jeep? Is the Jeep a better bet? I don't know. Maybe. Let's find out. I'm kind of curious. Now I want to know. No, oh, it's faster. rock formation and there's just nothing out here it's just void of anything interesting that sucks I was kind of hoping for some cool I wouldn't have seen this if I didn't do that maybe I would have but
Another jeep? This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you for that music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use it. A lesson in manners and a boot in the ass, not necessarily in that order either. Folks, huh. I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but. I'm just so peeved right now. Because some people just shouldn't be peeved. There's all these cars with their keys just left around. Like, I don't know what's really going on. That bridge stayed aloft. Or stayed up aloft. It didn't stay aloft. It just stayed attached. <laughs> Hill. In case you couldn't tell you're going up. That's funny, I like that. Hill! Oh, there's a hill! Another car. That's a cooler living car. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get out and go into there. It's daytime, so this guy doesn't sleep, apparently. He gets winded really. Well, he also hasn't slept, so that's understandable. Was this the spot I was at the other day? Looks like it. Welcome hey. back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that too. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't like I want to take this car. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go see what we got. Ooh, a manuscript, of course. About time we found a manuscript. That's Vermont. the last one. Yeah. Spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special. But Maude hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look at the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Maude had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. That's weird. It stays the same, but what's this? Ah, <sighs> seems a richer high volcano. Yeah, no, a little display. Okay, that's cool. Speed, oh. okay. <sighs> Manuscript page. Da -da. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. 
Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. Let's read another one. Cauldron Lake. Oh, a lot of people died. That's sad. Oh, cutscene. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. You do, it because was she killed me. I was running on blind hope. I thought this was mean at noon. It was all a waste of time. You stayed there The bastard long. never showed up. <laughs> you mean you waited that long to... Uh, I guess he's just behind. Like it's like, oh, it's like half a day later. Wake. Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello! Ah! I'm gonna kill him! Well, how the fuck? I had to get to Mirror Peak. I understand that. Where the fuck? <laughs> Maybe closer than ever before. The fuck? They let me out of this motherfucker. Like, what the fuck? Okay, caught. Check. Was there a note or something up there? Let's go in the creepy dark hole, cause that. <gasps> for Barbara Jagger, mm. it happened fast. She was young, vibrant, and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a... Okay.
Oh, we have flashbangs now? How do I change between the two? Oh, cool. I get all the flashbangs? Go up. No, fuck off. You were up there. Yeah, I got it right. Okay, cool. take for me to heal. There's nothing back here? Oh, that sucks. Perfect spot for something to be hidden. A collectible. Coffee thermos? Huh. What the hell? Oh, that's the only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Oh, 
kind of boss. It's dark as fuck in this one. Shit, uh. Stupid shit. Supposedly you don't have to kill all these guys, I could just go run past them. But... It's almost like the timing is like you gotta like have the follow. <sighs> Some of the taken retained echoes of their former selves. But these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Mm -hmm. Nothing remained but a shell. There's no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. Uh, okay. Let's... Interessante. So that's just regular oil. Wants me to go that way, but oh, is this truck not work? Is there nothing over here? It doesn't look like it. Huh. Oh well. Was worth a look see.
bitches. Okay, let's do a little running, get there. A wee bit faster. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side. Doesn't go. It's only the flocks of them, I guess. It's like a Shinto shrine right there. No, oh, no, no stuff to pick up. No, kind of shitty. Am I supposed to go in there? Oh, there is a. going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Which one do I have? Okay, I got the... Now I gotta go back and get that coffee thing. Ah, uh, it sucks. All right. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Okay, that's all that was. There was no light there. So I gotta go this way to get the coffee thing.
presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? You're in a fucking cemetery, that's a joke. Oh, oh, shift may cause cancer. Anywhere? Okay. The place was dead, a ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. I just want a thermos. Oh, there's a page. What's it say? Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. Ooh. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Hmm. Something to fight. Whatever. Fuck around and find out. That's what I say. Nada, nada.
start. to take it full health back. Ah, Thermos. Does the coffee give me health? That'd be cool. What's that, keys? I got keys of some sort to go into here. We're almost full health now. We're filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning well, fabulous like, things from a magic lake, using like, his oh, powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself. His girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence. Uh, do I? Why would I love it? Uh, Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above. Oh, so how much ammo did I have for that motherfucker? I crawled back upstairs. Twenty-one shots. Yeah, fuck that. Things for my story. They as much as I would like to use the. <laughs> as much as I would like to use the hunting rifle. I have more ammo with the shotgun and packs more of a punch. Honey rifle up close, I guess, would do the same thing, but. The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Telling me to hurry up. Who the fuck am? Oh, it's flare gun. Now they they hook me up now. Uh, I can't go that way, can I? It just tells me. Okay.
guys see something over here? What the fuck? I saw like a flare on the ground. That'd been cool. Re up my flares, but. Nothing here. Not even a coffee thermos. Okay, I guess I can uh, only go one way. Oh, that's creepy as fuck. Doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel. Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced hmm. them. to make my way up this mine shaft in yeah. order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Oh, 
just lift it up a little bit. There we go. Jesus, he almost jumped off the egg. For a guy who never jumps. The other two chapters were about this, not much longer than just this one. Supposed to go? It's down. Oh, so there's nothing down here. I just came down here for no fun. Ah, there's stuff here. Do that all the time. Oh, great. Another cable car. Just great. So I am supposed to go. is this? That's all that's up there was a couple flares? Like, what? Oh, there's a ladder. Okay, good. I'm gonna climb up the ladder and see what happens. Oh, manuscript. Lightning flashed behind mm. the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Molnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. Oh, fuck. That's kind of dark. Yes. I see where I'm... So you keep zooming. Whoa. Okay. Cool. I don't care. I'm fall. <laughs> oh, no. We got hurt. He's fine.
This was a loaded point. Shoot those. They only let you shoot the beer cans. I suppose it does recharge over time. I should just let it instead of always filling it up right away. A creepy like graveyard type thing or what? Probably, huh? Just go, motherfucker. What's with the... I can't run.
Nothing? All right. Oh, wait, there's something that says here. There's... Ah. That way. Down there. And right here. Hell yeah. Flare gun ammo is the shit. Got another manuscript page. Read this. Maude had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. Hmm. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. Hmm. It'd be cool if they read those, like, as you, after you pick them, you could still move along before there was, like, a boss. What's this? It's just a collapsed bridge? Okay. Makes sense. Why is there a bridge anyway if it just comes... Hmm. Is this way blocked or something? Yeah, okay. That's good. That makes sense. Ah, oh, fuck off. Oh, there we go. Oh, got push. Tanky? Tanky much? What the fuck? Can I get up there? Oh, I gotta kick it. That's silly. I could just jump up there. I want the thermos! Place bricked up. Okay. Kick. Kick. Tom, 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 I miss you, Tom. All right, she misses Tom. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, stairs over there. See what happens. Is this a good can I open this? No. He wants me to have a honey rifle, right? well, but give me shotgun ammo. Yeah, good. Too bad you can't have both. But I can have more flares. Fuck yeah. Oh, I see something over here. See some sparkle over here? No? Okay. Just my last playing trick, son. What do we have here? What is this? Okay, yeah, I gotcha. Let's, let's let me fight. If I just went this way anyway. Hmm. Dun dun dun. Oh, the thermos is down here. It's a long drop. Huh. Yay, coffee thermos. But if I'd known to stay to the left, I would have uh, saved some ammo. I could see. 
see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. Mm -hmm. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Okay. Ooh, manuscript page. I was close now. I had to... Hey, I tried close. to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. Hmm. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. So he he's the guy behind it. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. Or he I took had her. to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another. Get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Man, wish I had some shit back there. Hey, what? Wait, not you. Wait. Hey, I'm here. I'm coming. What? No, get away! Okay. Sorry. Please, wait. The boss didn't know who was messing with us. I didn't know. I swear. I didn't oh, shut know. up. We don't have a wife. We don't know where she is. She crawls around. We just said we had her to make a play ball. You see, you see? They get a writing for us. Please! Okay, cutscene. That's the end of that episode. That was a longer episode than the first two, I think. I think the first two were like a half, an hour and a half each, maybe? Previously on Alan Wake, yeah, that's cool. I'm haunted by the law. Sheriff Wake. Guess, uh, what, maybe Wednesday I'll play the next chapter? Alright, thanks.